Everybody. It gets sweeter and sweeter. Am I not about it? The more you learn about the Bible, the more you want to learn about the Bible. Am I right about it? The more you find out about God, the more you want to find out about God. The more you find out about Jesus, the more you want to love Him more. Am I right about it? The more you come to church, the more you want to come to church. Am I right about it? When you get your cup filled, you want to fill it to the overflow. Am I right about it? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. The Bible is right. It's right, y'all. That's an favorite expression of mine when I preach. And I thought I'd preach on it today. Because a lot of folks think a whole lot of other stuff is right. Hold on, I'm coming to that after a while. But the Bible is right. The Bible says all scripture is given how? By the inspiration of God. The original Greek word there means God breathed. It's not a man-made book. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and it's profitable for doctrine, for the proof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be present. Family furnished on every good work. The Bible is right. The Bible is right about the origin of the world. It's right about the creation of man. It's right about the purpose of man's existence on planet Earth. It's right about the destiny of man. If you want to know where man is going, you can't go to the philosophy book. You got to go to the Bible. Am I right about it? If you want to know the destiny of man, you can't be running to the psychological and the philosophical books. You got to go to the Bible because the Bible is right. The Bible is right about forgiveness of sins, about the wages of sin. The Bible is right about the one true church. The Bible is right when it teaches one scriptural reason for divorce and remarriage. The Bible is right when it teaches that Christians ought to marry Christians and marry only in the law. Am I right about it? The Bible is right when it teaches that we are Christians only and only Christians. Say amen if you can. Some folk can say amen to that statement, but it's still right. The Bible is right. And I think I ought to, I think I ought to just step out of bounds here. The Bible is higher than any book you ever heard of. Say amen if you can. Ain't no book higher than the Bible. That's my heart. The Bible is the best book in the world. Say amen if you can. It's higher than the origin of the species. It's higher than the communistic manifesto. It's higher than the Quran. Say amen if you can. It's higher than Soul on Ice by Elvis Cleaver. It's higher than books on African centricity. Say amen if you can. It's higher than history books. It's higher than scientific books. It's higher than psychological books. It's higher than philosophical books. It's higher than computer books. It's higher than watchtower books. The Bible is right. It's right. The Bible is right. When it says, when it teaches that God Name is Reverend. The Bible is right. The Bible is called the Book of the Law. Nehemiah 8 and 3. It is called the Law of the Lord. Psalms 1 and 2. It's the Law of the Lord. And our text says the law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. The Bible.
Bible is called the Holy Scriptures. The word Scripture means writing. But this is not just any kind of writing. But this is Holy Scripture. It's Holy Writing. It's Sacred Writing. It's Divine Writing. It's God Concocted Writing. Romans chapter 1 and verse number 2. The Bible is called the Word of God. Hebrews 4 and 12. The Word of God is quick and powerful. Am I right about it? It's not the Word of Shakespeare, but it's the Word of God. Not the Word of Bill Clinton, but it's the Word of God. <laughs> the Bible is called the Word of Life. Philippians 2.16 If you want life, you got to go to the Bible. Jesus, I need some help here. Some folk are running to the psychology books trying to get their life together. You need to run to the Bible. And the Bible is called the book. Uh-huh. The book. It's in a class all by itself. You don't have to name it. Just say the book. Am I right about it? When you say the book, there is but one book. That's the Bible. Am I right about it? And the last day we're going to be judged by the things that are written in the book. Revelation 22 and verse number 19. So the Bible is the book of the law of God. It's the law of God. It's the Holy Scripture. It's the Word of God. It's the Word of life. And it's the book of God. Now, 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 since it's all of that, when we go to the Bible, we find the word reverend. And that word reverend is mentioned only one time in the book of God. And it's found in Psalms 111 and verse number 9. And the Bible says, He that sent redemption unto his people, he hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. Bless your heart. That's talking about God. Only God ought to be called reverend according to the law of the Lord. Only God ought to be called reverend according to the book of the law, according to the Holy Scripture, according to the Word of God, according to the Word of life, and according to the book. Only God ought to be called reverend. The Bible is right. But why do you call ministers reverend? Why do you call preachers reverend? No preacher ought to be called reverend. The Bible is right. Stay with me now. The Bible is the book of the Lord. The Bible is the word of God. And that word is used one time in the Bible. Reverend. And it refers to God and not to man. And yet there are preachers who are called the most reverend, the most, the most elect, honorable, reverend this and reverend that. No Bible for that. No preacher ought to be called reverend. Somebody say, wait a minute. When you call the preacher reverend, you are. You're just respecting him. Well, it's all right to respect the preacher. But you ought to respect the preacher according to the word of God. When you call a preacher man reverend, you are disrespecting God. And you are going beyond that which is written. There is no biblical authority for calling any preacher reverend. Somebody said, what shall I call it? But Paul was an inspired preacher. And Paul called Apollos, who was a great preacher, brother Apollos. Paul called Timothy 
another great preacher. Brother Timothy. Hebrews 13, 23. 